now that we got docker working and we got the mongodb container installed the next thing that we're gonna explore is how we can uh, implement the replication properties in mongodb so we are inside the mongodb container now and as i discussed you can use the basic commands that you can in unix so the first thing that we are going to do is create a location for our databases so basically we are going to create some directories so let's first create a directory called store and you can see if i check now so i have a directory called store i can go inside store and i have inside store i have data so we're inside data now and you can check the location with pwd the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create three different folders or directories here for three of my replica sets so we are going to create a primary replica and then two secondary replicas so our goal is to have the primary database and then we are also going to replicate the primary database twice so we're going to have two backups so we create rs1 that's replica set one and then another directory called rs2 and rs3 so if i check now i have three different directories now we are ready to start mongodb and use the the database and the locations that i have here so let's go back and start our mongodb shell you can do that using like a new tab so i can start terminal and new tab here so what i'm gonna do is I, i'm gonna start the mongodb so inside that container now I try mongod then we have to specify a replica set name so we're gonna do cooking set so cooking set is going to be the replica set name which must be exactly same for all the replicas then you have to specify the database path which is going to be store then data and then one of the directories we created so i can write rs1 then we specify the port number i'm gonna use 275 and then also the size of the log so op log size is 200 and we get this message and that means uh, this command is working now and you have to execute the same command like very similar command three times so now the first command is working we have to open another tab so let's go ahead and start another So we actually have to write the command again. So docker exec it db and then bash. So we are inside the shell again and I'm going to do the same command that I did in the other container. So mongod replica set cooking set my db path store 
do it up and this time we're gonna use rs2 and i have to use a different port because 275 is already used so i can use 285 and you can change the port if you want and i get another message And if you want, you can also check that we have this Mongo latest. This is being run at the moment. And we need to run one last shell. And this time RS3 and port number let's say 295. So we have these three different instances working at the same time. So these three tabs and this was our original tab here. So all these tabs they are within the same container and they have these instances running in three different directories rs1 2 and 3 now we need to inform each one of them replicas rs1 2 and 3 so they are these replica set members they have to know that the other replica sets they exist so as of now they do not know that there are other members of the same replica set uh, the cooking set so we have to in inform them so we come back to the original Mongo shell and we write the Docker shell Mongo and we are entering the first replica set and that was in 275. So we write Mongo then port 275 and we are inside the Mongo shell now. This should be very familiar to you. So we are inside the MongoDB's Mongo shell. The next thing to do is we can check if we have any databases let's check so not yet so what we are going to do is we have to configure this database and to do that we have to write config because all of the containers they are within the local host so in the local machine so you have to write local host and then the port number the same format for all of them so id is 0 1 and 2 
and the end of the config file and if you see this message here that means we got the config working so we have an id which is cooking set the id of our replica set and we have specified we have three members id 0 1 and 2 and these are their port numbers the next thing to do is i am going to initiate the replica set the command is initiate rs.initiate and use the config file we just wrote and i get okay and we just started in the secondary that means we are within the secondary replica set we could also do the rs.status and that will show that this is a replica starting from here the set is cooking set we have a bunch of information here you can check each of them i'm just gonna quickly go through them so we have these voting members how many members we have then the different information about time selection and all these you can decide a lot of these policies uh, we are interested in these id 0 is localhost 275 which is the primary this is going to be our primary server and it has a port number of 275 then if you go to 285 this is our secondary replica and also 295 this is secondary so we have the primary running at 275 and the two secondary replica set members at 295 so this means our replica set is ready to go in the next video we're gonna explore some more commands for replication